Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. In this episode of JRPG tutorial, we are going to design and code the inventory system. Shout out to Peer Peer. I'm, I'm I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. And he reminded me that we can use require component in interactable module class to ensure that when you add any instances of interactable module, the object must have interactable on it. Let's add this onto our interactable module. We're still going to keep sanity check for interactable in the code just in case. Thank you very much and guys and girls, if you have any questions, correction, advices or points of discussion for me, don't be shy. I am eager to interact with you in the comments below. In this episode, we are going to start implementing inventory system. Our inventory system will somewhat mirror the value system, in a sense that we will have item class as a scriptable object with all data stored on it, and we will use it to reference them in our inventory in instance of class item, item reference. This will allow us to decouple the items itself, their stats from inventory overall. So your actual inventory only stores the exact item list and the amount of items in each instance you have. The inventory system is separated into two parts. One is stockpile of items, like your pockets, shared between all your characters. And second is equipped items. In this episode, we will make the stockpile part. In the next episode, we will be making equipment for character. Let's begin from moving all the scripts and materials into folders and make a new script called item inside inherit from scriptable object. So let's define a few variables which represent qualities pr uh, present on each item in the game. All those variables will be public. Let's say it will be string name and string description in sell buy to represent prices of selling and buying those items and bull stackable. This will be enough for now. We will expand on this in the next episode to allow equipping and using items. Don't forget to add create asset menu. Now we move on to making inventory itself. Let's create script called inventory. This script be responsible with all storage of values and item references and all necessary methods of interaction with your inventory. First, let's make a public class called item instance. This class will contain item base and item count. Then inside the inventory, uh, just make a list item instance and initiate it at start. Okay, now we are going to add two public methods called add item and remove item. This parameter item, uh, item an optional parameter of type int with default value of 1. Now go into item instance class and make constructor for it. Parameter will be item base and optional parameter int count with default value of 1. Uh, in add item method, first we have to check is our item stackable or not. In else statement of this, just add new instance of item instance into inventory by using add new in item instance and use parameter item and count for the constructor. 
Inside the if statement we will use find to find and store the item instance based on item parameter. If nothing found, just add new item. If the item is found, add the count into this item instance item count. By using similar principle, let's implement remove function, uh, but find and store the reference to item instance before checking for stackable, so we can use it to check does item which we want to remove exist in our inventory. If it not, let's get out of this function. Then check if this item is stackable. If item is not stackable, then remove it from list. If item is stackable, then we have to decrease the count value inside the item instance by the count parameter. After that we have to check did we run out of those items or not. If we run out of items of this type, remove the instance from the list. For testing purposes let's use on GUI, show each item on screen with, this, uh, with its count. and create serialized list with item called item on start to allow us to add item which player possesses at the start. Then in start just add all those items from this list by using add item method. Finally enough, this is it. Attach your inventory system to Unity Chan. Create few items, fill the value of those items. Add those items to list item on start uh, in inventory and launch the game. We should see the GUI message with all items and count of those stackable items. So how about we add items which you can pick up to our interaction system. To do so create new script called item pickup. It will be an interactable module add abstract method serialized field item item and a serialize int count with default value of 1. And we have an issue of accessibility. Technically we have to just tell to our inventory that we add one item to the list and that's it. But the problem is, how are we going to reach inventory script? To do so, we are going to change our interactable module class a little. We will add into abstract interact parameter the game object actor. Uh, now we have to add the actor variable in all reference places. We will add it uh, up until interaction controller. I will fix all the issue this change make while explaining the reasoning behind it. 
this parameter will carry exactly who is interacting with this interactive object. For now it can be only Unity Chan, but later we can make AI interact with these things or later on make teleport pad, which can react not only to our character but to let's say puzzle piece or enemy. And by passing the actor and just checking for components on it, allow us to make interactive system detached from exactly who is interacting with this system. If actor have an inventory system, add the item. Pretty much that's it. Back to item pickup script. Inside interact method, just check for inventory. If your actor does have an inventory, add item. Then you have to disable the object so player can't pick, up, uh, pick it up again. Thing is, we can trust Unity with order of invoking the delegates. We have an in interact script. This is why we should not destroy the object. For the case when you have multiple modules on the same interactable objects. So if other module need to use or reference something from the object itself, it will not break anything. We will do that for now inside the item pickup later. We will separate it into separate module. So let's go on scene and drop one of those pickup objects. Create some kind of 3D object. Let's make it a sphere. Attach all necessary uh, components to it. Change some data. And let's call this object item pickup and prefab it. Drop like three of them on the scene, you can play with variables on them, and we can test it. That will be it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to start adding equipment system into the game. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next episode.